Good day. My name is Peter. Welcome to the VAT Short and Sweet series where we explore the world of value-added taxes. The series consists of several short presentations that build upon each other. Today we're at presentation number 6 of 15 in our journey. See the presentation topics covered in this series for a full list of the presentations. The verbal script is not a verbatim of the written text. You can pause the video at any time to read the full text. Common themes. Number one, VAT laws tend to impose the responsibility to collect VAT on the person making the supply, example, the vendor. Number two, in certain cases, the person receiving the supply, example, the purchaser, may be authorized by the applicable VAT law to withhold VAT, and of course, subsequently remit the tax directly to the applicable VAT authority. This person is sometimes referred to as an agent for the VAT authority. An agent is a person duly representing another person. In certain cases, a person must self-assess VAT. Self-assessment is a process of collecting, reporting, and remitting VAT from oneself. This type of transaction will be dealt with in a future presentation. We will use businesses run by Caesar and his family to demonstrate the topics, themes, and elements being presented in this presentation. Let's look at a fictional example using fictional VAT law. We have our scenarios, we have our common theme, and we have the end result of our analysis. Just to recap on the common theme, the tax is either collected by the person making the supply or it's collected by an authorized agent who withholds the VAT and remits the VAT directly to the VAT authority. Scenario number one, Caesar's store in his home country sells a chair to an authorized agent. The chair is taxable at the regular rate by the applicable VAT law. So does common theme number one apply? Is the supply made to a person authorized to withhold VAT? The answer is yes. In this case, the recipient of the supply, example, the purchaser, withholds VAT and will subsequently remit the VAT to the VAT authorities. In scenario number two, Caesar's store in his home country sells a chair to a general consumer. The chair is taxable at the regular rate by the applicable VAT law. So in this case, the supply is not made to an authorized agent. And therefore, Caesar will collect the VAT and report and remit it on his return. Conclusion. Number one, VAT laws tend to impose the responsibility to collect VAT on the person making the supply. Number two, in certain cases, the person receiving the supply may be authorized by the applicable VAT law to withhold VAT. Number three, respecting all the requirements prescribed by the applicable VAT law in your country is very important. Special attention should be given to the documentation requirements prescribed. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next presentation.